In this segment, we'll go through rigging tectonic panels for a permanent installation using the tectonic rigging system. A tectonic rig for permanent installation will likely be suspended by load-rated aircraft cable from fixed brackets. We'll be using lifts today as a stand-in. As a basic guideline, the tectonic rigging system can accommodate up to five tectonic panels. The rigging component that is common to all hangs is the CTL connector tube. Two connector tubes are attached to the back of each tectonic panel to provide attachment points for all rigging. On PL12s, use the outermost rigging connection standoffs. PL11s have only one pair of connection standoffs. With the system solution determined through room analysis and measurements and a panel hang designed, we're now ready to install the system. The first connection point of the room will likely be load-rated swaged aircraft cabling attached to a structural mount provided by the system installer. Make sure that cables and swage crimpings are load-rated for the design. Keep in mind that cables can be painted or coated to match the room. If the installed hang is too far from a rear support to use pullback cables, the first connection to the array will be to a CGS center of gravity head to balance the finished hang. The center of gravity heads will be connected to the first panel's connector tubes and fastened with QPL quick pins or load rated 5 16 inch by 1 and a quarter inch bolts. Attach the cabling to the appropriate hole in the center of gravity head by threading it directly through the selected hole and swaging or with load rated shackles. A bit of trial and experience will get the angle you need and you can always adjust later. If the design allows for using pullbacks, the first connection point to a tectonic hang is to the EHL eye hooks connected to the first panel's connector tubes. Attach the cabling by threading it directly through the eye hooks and swaging or with load rated shackles. Insert the eye hooks into the top of the first panel's connector tubes. Pin the eye hooks in place with quick pins or load rated bolts. Connect additional panels by selecting and inserting the desired connector bars into the bottom of the first panel's connector tubes. Connector bars come in 0, 3, 5, 7, 10, and 15 degree angles. Pin the connector bars in place with quick pins or load rated bolts. Continue to add panels as needed. Complete the panel hang by attaching a pair of eye hooks to the bottom of the final panel's connector tubes. Attach the pullback cabling by threading it directly through the eye hook and swaging or with load rated shackles. Connect the ends of the pullback cables to load rated structural elements in the room. Adjust the hang as necessary. Use the integral safety mounting points on PL11s or spare mounting standoffs on PL12s to attach safety cabling according to local safety standards.